on, it's this way. He left his laptop on. We shouldn't be in here. Stop whining, he's gone. Are you sure? Shut up and check this out. He makes YouTube videos. What if we get caught? What's the worst he can do to a toilet brush? His kid thinks I'm a plunger. You should spend a day in her bathroom pulling toilet paper out of your bristles and... Hell no! I'll stick with the master bath, thank you. It's not fair. It's the luck of the draw, baby. Luck of the draw. We should leave. I'm scared. We'll grow a set. We'll leave after we watch this freak's latest creation. <laughs> setup uh, is uh, consist of let's see if I can zoom in on this on a nut obviously um, the keys tuning keys and at this end over here we have <clears throat> a tailpiece and a bridge and each one of these things that the strings go over are called saddles so um, this is a uh, tunematic setup most uh, um, Gibson style guitars have it uh, what do you call it uh, um, Ibanez has it a lot I don't think Fender does it so much but this uh, what do you call it? Les Paul over here has basically the same setup, and I do have a a uh, Ivan as it has the basic same setup. So um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to show you what we have to do to take these strings off. The best way to take the strings off of this particular type of guitar, and um, so we'll get on with that here in just a half second. Okay, you're not going to be able to see much of me at this point, but I'm not the star of the show, am I? Anyway, um, first thing we have to do to this freaking guitar is, uh, or what I like to do, is I like to take a piece of blue tape or any masking tape and tape 
the tailpiece to the bolts that hold it. There's a reason for that, which you will see soon. And then uh, part two is you want to loosen the strings until you basically lay on the bird, well, the neck. They don't completely lay on the neck, but you can push them down if they're loose to where they're not making a tone. So those two are loose enough. That one's loose enough. snippers. What I like to do is snip them as close to the nut as possible or anywhere in this area between the key and maybe the second fret is fine. You want to snip them while holding on to the end that is the longest and let it lay down. Snip it. There's a reason for that. Um, you don't want to just unwind them because then it makes it hard to pull them from the tailpiece. So, you end up cutting them off anyway. You need to cut that one, and this one. You don't want to use a cheap pair of, uh, of cutters because it'll just chew up the, the uh, cutters themselves. Make notches in them. I've done that before. So, <clears throat> now we have all the strings loose. Get them all up in a in a uh, wad here and put some tension on them. And the reason I take that on is because if I don't and I cut all those strings, the tail piece will slide right off and go across my finish and scratch it. So that's why I do that. And as you can see, this end we have oops, this end we have nice straight tips, little pole. On one, just take and fist them, push them through, and you can grab this side of them. And oops, one escaped. You little booger. It's kind of stuck in there. And there we go. Anyway, you just fist them all on this side and pull them all through. Now you have a tailpiece that is stringless. You have a bridge that is stringless and this floats too. This will come right off so don't tip your guitar over. But what you want to do is if you're not uh, videotaping what you're doing if I have videotape evidence of where that thing was you want to uh, Take and put some kind of indication on that thing as to which way it was facing when you took it off. So, this one's pretty easy, obviously. Some of them are a little bit more complicated. With screws I always face to the back or to the this side, the, uh, they face towards the uh, tailpiece. And so, there it is. That is the bridge and the saddles. They all come off. And then uh, these are both, all of these are adjustable. These will screw in and out, and screw in and out. Try to leave them basically where they're at. If you don't want to change anything, if you do, we'll be going through the process of 
of setting this up because I've noticed that this one, at least on the the uh, first string, is awfully close. It comes close to touching the bridge in this area as it comes off the uh, tailpiece. So <clears throat> next, one at a time, and if you'll excuse me for a minute, I have to grab a little box of some sort. This will probably do it. I don't want these things to on the floor. You step on a, a string segment and it will go into your foot. If you have socks on or if you're barefooted. So what you want to do is set this right here. You know, as you want to take them off one at a time, carefully, unwinding them, and pulling them out, and make sure you put them in the box or directly in the trash. Some of the thicker strings will be a little bit more tough. You may even find yourself pulling them out that way, which is not a bad idea. Anyway, once you get unwound, it's uh, being stubborn that way. Pulling it out on the end, you can shove it through. You probably can't even see this here. So, that's about it for taking the strings off. You can put these in the box or in the trash. did finish making the tool for the uh, for this scale. Um, one of the things you might want to do is you, uh, before you can start doing anything else, we're going to go through this thing, we're going to check the, the, uh, the frets. We're going to check, we're going to work with this, this bridge situation here, um, and we are going to set the relief and clean it all up and the whole nine yards and then we're going to set the intonation and so um, one thing I like to do right away is push all the garbage off of it, dust and it's nice to have a little brush like this, a paint brush that's never been used for painting it's a nice soft bristle brush that you can brush the dust off and clean it all up <clears throat> get everything off of there. You can even use it on the finish over here. It won't damage it at all. Um, other things we might be looking at is the switch. I either need to get a new one or I need to make a, because uh, I can't find one anywhere, a little knob for it. I don't know what happened to it. It must have uh, fell off of there at some point. I've had this guitar for quite a few years. And so that's about it for this one. Hopefully uh, you are watching this and getting some good pointers on how to take the strings off your <clears throat> Tunomatic style bridge the safe way. And make sure you don't scratch your finish and put an eye out and all that good stuff. Anyway, the next uh, episode or video, if you will, we're going to be using this contraption to check the, oops, backwards, um, check how the neck is. It actually feels like it's, at this point, concaved, or not concaved, um, I don't even know what the technical term for it is. But it has zero relief in it. It's in fact bowed backwards at this point. And I remember checking it with the strings on it and it did have relief. So the strings are putting a lot of tension on this neck. <clears throat> so we will be doing that. Enjoy your day and we'll be back soon with uh, bowing the neck and the checking the frets. Have a good evening. What sucked? I thought it was okay.
de 10. Wait a minute. What the heck are those things doing in here? Hmm. Weird. No, wait, you can't do this. I don't belong in the kids' bathroom. What are you doing? There you go. You can't do this. I'll get you. There you go. I'll scrub your favorite coffee cup. There you go. I'll take a nap on your loaf of bread. I'll get you. Stop! Come back! Come back! Look at the draw, baby. Look at the draw. 